the Aptera is a solar EV that claims to be the most efficient vehicle ever made. This is not just a concept, but a reality. It is a three-wheeled, two-seat vehicle that harnesses the power of the sun to charge itself, eliminating the need for plugging in and charging stations. It is a vehicle that looks as if it was pulled from a scene of a sci-fi movie. In this video, we want to take some steps back and start from where and when the engineers started the idea of building a solar EV. The failures that have happened along the way, with promises of starting production never coming true from 2008 to now 2024. Will they be able to start production finally in late 2024? As we dive in to find out, hit that sub button. The Aptera story begins in 2006, when two engineers, Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony, decided to create a new kind of electric car that would be ultra-efficient, aerodynamic, and powered by the sun. They founded a company called Accelerated Composites, later renamed Aptera Motors, and started working on their first prototype, the TYP-1. This was a three-wheeled car with a teardrop shape, a lightweight composite body, and a solar roof. This model claimed to achieve an incredible 330 miles per gallon at 65 miles per hour and had a range of over 100 miles on a single charge. The TYP-1 attracted a lot of attention and media coverage, and soon the company received thousands of pre-orders from customers who wanted to own this futuristic car. The company also raised $24 million from investors, including Google and Idea Lab, and hired several industry veterans to oversee engineering, production, and marketing. The TYP-1 was renamed the 2E, and the company announced that it would start delivering the car by the end of 2008. However, things did not go as planned. The launch of the 2E was delayed several times due to technical issues, regulatory hurdles, and financial difficulties. The founders, Fambro and Anthony, were ousted from the company in 2008 and replaced by a new CEO, Paul Wilbur. Hi, I'm Paul Wilbur, President and CEO of Aptera. This is the Aptera 2E. It's the most efficient vehicle in the world. The company also faced competition from other electric car makers, such as Tesla and Nissan, who offered more conventional four-wheeled vehicles with higher performance and lower prices. In 2009, the company applied for a $184 million loan from the U.S. Department of Energy under the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Loan Program, which was meant to support the development and production of fuel-efficient cars. However, the loan was denied because the program only covered four-wheeled vehicles and the Aptera was classified as a motorcycle. The company lobbied to change the regulations, but it was too late. In 2010, the company entered the Automotive X Prize competition, which offered $10 million to the most efficient and practical car. The Aptera 2E was one of the finalists, but it failed to complete the 50-lap trial as it overheated after 30 laps. The competition was won by another three-wheeled car, the Edison 2, a very light car. In 2011, the company ran out of money and was unable to raise more funds from investors or customers. It started to return the deposits to the pre-order customers and announced that it was going out of business. The company said that it had received a conditional offer of a $150 million loan from the Department of Energy, but it required matching funds from the private sector, which the company could not secure. The company also said that it had received several acquisition offers, but none of them were acceptable. The Aptera dream seemed to be over. But it was not. In 2019, the original founders, Fambro and Anthony, along with a third partner, Michael Johnson, decided to revive the company and the project. They said that they had never stopped thinking about Aptera and that they had learned from their mistakes and improved their design and technology. They also said that the market and the public opinion had changed and that there was more demand and support for electric and solar cars than ever before. They relaunched the company as Aptera Motors Corporation and unveiled a new version of the Aptera car, the Launch Edition. This car had a sleeker and more refined design with a drag coefficient of just 0.13, the lowest of any car ever. It also had a larger battery pack, up to 100 kilowatt hours, which gave it a range of up to 1,000 miles on a single charge, the longest of any electric car ever. It also had 700 watts of solar cells on the roof and the hood, which could provide up to 40 miles of solar-powered driving per day, enough to cover most daily trips without plugging in. It also had three electric motors, one in each wheel, which gave it a total output of 201 horsepower, 
and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.5 seconds, faster than some sports cars. It also had 32.5 cubic feet of rear storage, more than some SUVs. The launch edition was priced at $25,900, and the company said that it would start production in 2021 and deliver the first cars by the end of the year or early 2022. The company also said that it would offer other variants of the car, with different battery sizes, ranges, and prices, starting from $18,900. The company also said that it would use Tesla's NACS charge port, which would allow the car to access Tesla's supercharger network, as well as other charging stations. The new Aptera car received an overwhelming response from the public and the media. The company quickly sold out of the launch edition and said that it had received over 40,000 reservations for the car, representing a potential $1.4 billion in orders. The company also launched a crowdfunding campaign, which raised over $4 million from over 4,000 investors. The company also received a $21 million grant from the California Energy Commission to support its vehicle and component manufacturing. The company moved into a new 60,500 square foot facility in San Diego. Hey Aptera fans, it's Chris. The team here in San Diego and our team in Italy have made- Where it started to build and test the production intent vehicles. The company also hired several experienced engineers and designers and partnered with various suppliers and vendors to ensure the quality and reliability of the car. It also released several videos and updates showing the progress and the features of the car and answering the questions and feedback from the customers and the fans. However, they also face some challenges and delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the global chip shortage, and the regulatory and certification processes. They postponed the production start date to late 2024 and said that it would deliver the first cars by early 2025. They also said that it would prioritize the delivery of the cars to the customers who invested the most in the crowdfunding campaign and that it would offer refunds to the customers who wanted to cancel their reservations. They also faced some skepticism and criticism from some people who doubted the feasibility and the viability of the car, and who compared it to the previous failed attempt. The company responded by saying that it had learned from its past mistakes and that it had improved its technology and business model. They also said that it had a clear vision and a strong team and that it was confident that it could deliver the car and fulfill its promises. The Aptera is not just a concept, but a reality. The company has already built and tested several prototypes and plans to start production and delivery by the end of this year. The car is expected to cost between $25,900 and $46,900, depending on the battery size and options. They will also offer a 10-year warranty and a lifetime subscription to the Aptera app, which allows the owners to monitor and control their cars remotely. The company also has a vision to create a network of solar charging stations, where the Aptera owners can park and share their excess energy with other vehicles. The Aptera is a game-changer in the electric vehicle industry. It is the first car that can run on sunlight alone, without ever needing to plug in. It is also the most efficient and eco-friendly car ever made, with a zero-carbon footprint and minimal environmental impact. The Aptera is not just a car, but a lifestyle. It is a car for the people who want to drive the future and make the world a better place. The Aptera story is not over yet. It is still a work in progress, and it still has many challenges and uncertainties ahead. But it is also a story of innovation and perseverance, of passion and vision, of hope and ambition. It is a story of a car that could change the way we drive and the way we live, a car that could make the world a better and cleaner place. It is a story of a car that never needs to plug in.